Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Now that your server is all set up just how you like it, it is time to change some router and network settings to make sure that all of your friends can connect from wherever they are on the internet. First, to open up your server to the world, you need to open up the port that Minecraft will be running off of. The default port is 25565. If you change the port in the server.properties file, you will have to make sure that that port is open for people to connect. The basic idea is Minecraft is trying to talk with the outside via some sort of road, and that road has a number, and you need to make sure that road is clear for Minecraft to talk. You will need router admin access. You and the, every router is built differently, so there is no way for us to cover how to do this on every single router. Luckily, there are a few resources that you can use. Portforward.com will help you forward your port. Normally, you will be looking for NAT or QoS settings or port forwarding on your router. After the port has been forwarded, you can check to see if this is all working on canyouseeme.org and make sure that 25565 is open and you see a success. Uh, and then you will know that everything is working correctly. Once you have that port open, you will need to give other people your public IP address, not a private IP address. You can tell if it's public or private. If it starts with 192, you're probably on an internal IP address, not a public facing one. To find this public IP address, just search Google for IP, two letters, and it will be the first thing that pops up. If you happen to own a domain name, you can point your A record toward your public facing IP address, and then people can type in that domain name. You can also use something called a C name if you want something fancy like mc.yourdomain.com to port directly, to point directly to your forward facing IP. Now, on most people's internet connections, that IP address will change a lot, and it takes a while for DNS uh, servers to recognize an IP change. So, in some cases, this will not work for you, but it's a good thing to know. And there you have it. If people are connecting to your Minecraft server, hooray! Start a new server and make sure everyone can, well, just to also remember that there are a few security things, you're opening up ports, and also your computer that you're running may not be able to handle a ton of people connecting to it. So keep in mind that internet speed is a big factor and your computer hardware is another big factor. But that is it for this episode of OMG Craft. I hope that you have got your server up and running. If you have questions, feel free to mail me at mail at omgcraft.com. Big thanks to T2 and Cheeto for helping out with this episode. Their input is always appreciated. If you would like to subscribe to the show, you can do so, do so at youtube.com slash omgcraft or search for omgcraft in iTunes. Once again, thank you so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. I will see you next time. Hey.